So let's take a look at Credit Master Studio for Premiere Pro Effects. So first we have C-L, which means center lower. You can see that the credits are in the center lower of the frame. And then we have CM, which is center medium. And then lower left, lower medium, left upper, right lower, right medium, right upper, and then going down we have static, center lower, and so on and so forth. And that is again just the positioning of the credits within the frame. And then moving down we have static credits, and these are all different credit designs for TV shows, short films, YouTube channels. And these credits you can have over your footage or backgrounds. In this case, we're just going to do a black background. And then moving on, we have rolling credit sections. And you're going to have all different sections that you would get in a normal feature film like credit sequence. So you have your copyright section, performance and artist sections. And of course, you can change and modify these however you need. And then moving on, we have an actual rolling credit sequence. And this is a style you're going to get in a more traditional show format. And then we have our rolling credit sequences. And then our full credits layout. And this is going to have all the credits stacked together. Now let's go back up. I'm going to go into the center middle section for a moment. Let's highlight the credit style that you want. Double click. And you're going to see that credit along with any possible effects that credit may have into your timeline. So here we have our credit with two effects layers. And if I play, I'm just seeing a vertical blur style and a little slow move in. Now when we want to change our text, we're just going to grab our text tool and just rename it. And that's it. And you can highlight your text layer, go into your effects control, and then you can remodify the text however you need. So if you want to go ahead and change the color, change the font style, change the size, you can do so right inside here. Moving on, let's take a look at the static credits. So again, just highlight over any credit style, double click on the one you want. So that's going to go right into our timeline. And we can highlight our text layer, go into our FX control panel, and then we can remodify this however we need, change the font, change the color. And that's it. Everything's going to update. Now moving ahead, let's take a look at the rolling credit section. You're going to get all different sections. Here we have cast center. So if I just double click on this cast center, this is just going to give me the section for cast. And you can see when I play this, it's moving at a certain pace. If I want to change the name, all I have to do is highlight this section with my text tool and just rename it. Now you can change the speed. All you have to do is highlight the layer. So if I just decrease this, it is going to speed up the rolling animation. If I extend this, it's going to slow down the animation. Now let's take a look at the solo credit sequences. And I'm going to double click on one of these sequences. 
Now the difference is going to be you are going to see effects layers above each credit. So we have rough dissolve, the vertical phantom slide, phantom slides, blur fade, and a slow zoom. And we can take a look at each of these effects, but we want to shut off all the tracks that have the effect layers to start. And that way we can see what each layer does. So you're going to have a basic fade in, fade out. However, let's turn on the first track, which is just a slow zoom. You can see that just gives a nice subtle slow zoom for each credit with the slow zoom layer turned on. I'm going to turn that off. And here we have just a blurring fade. Now I'm going to shut this off and we're going to turn on just the phantom slides. Take a look at that. Shut this off and let's take a look at the vertical phantom slide. And now here's just a rough dissolve. So again, turning on and off each of these effects tracks will give you different results. And you can turn on two different ones at the same time. So here I have a blur fade and a slow zoom. Now let's turn on the phantom slides. So we have a slow zoom, phantom slide, and blur fade. And you can see this affects all the credits within your sequence. Now what you want to do is really nest your entire sequence. So I'm going to nest my entire credit sequence. I'm going to highlight everything, the effects layers along with the credits, right click, hit nest. I'm going to call this my credit sequence, hit OK. Now we can turn our tracks back on so that it doesn't affect any of the work we're doing if we have footage in those tracks. And we can double click and go inside this nest credit sequence. And now we can adjust effects we want in our credit sequence. So just highlight the credit or credit sequence you need, change the text, and that's it. Enjoy. Enjoy.